What it do, baby? It's Moon Kid Max back with another episode of Moon Kid Max's reviews and reactions. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, y'all. So today I'm gonna be talking about the recently released Spaceman featuring Adam Sandler as the lead, Netflix original. You know what I'm saying? Netflix has been pumping these junks out for years now but as far as adam sandler netflix originals but they mostly been like dumb comedies or stuff like uh hubie halloween i like that drama adam sandler. but now we got a drama a space drama with adam sandler mostly just carrying the movie by himself i personally i think adam sandler and jim carrey both of them are two of the most like underrated actors dude like for every uncut gems though there's a jack and jill with adam sandler so like he has a lot of top tier movies but he has some real silly like just what the type movies as well but spaceman is not one of those silly movies this is a drama so everyone is wondering where the spaceman fall and I've been like looking around the like the aspra, the zeitgeist, you know what I'm saying? And it seems like we've been split down the middle where people, it's no like in between. People either love this Spaceman movie or they like hate it. They think it's boring. They think it's trash. They fell asleep. They just think it's a matter of taste on like what your opinion will be for this movie. Now for me, I like the movie. I thought the movie was phenomenal. It was very slow. It was a lot of talking, a lot of dialogue, just like not a lot going on, not a lot of action. So if this wasn't your like cup of tea, I get it. And I guess my only issue is when people are like, the story was whack, the story was trash. And I'm like, just because it didn't resonate with you doesn't mean that it doesn't have some kind of power and that other people can resonate. So I resonated with the story. Before I get into the story, I'm going to just break down a few other things because I really want to do like a spoiler. So I'll let y'all know when the spoilers are coming. But I'm going to really break, talk about the story because I think it's a lot to talk about. But say there was dope cinematography, like it clearly was a streaming movie but it looked really really good for a streaming movie like the scale wise of like being on a spaceship and being in space and everything and in the movie adam sandler meets this alien creature we're going to debate about whether the creature was real or not but he meets a like a giant spider named hanush who helps him deal with all his issues that he has going on back home as an astronaut in space right so the spider looked good to me i don't know maybe i'm tripping i was like man this spider it's a pretty good looking spider man adam sandler's character Jakob, Jakub, like jacob but he's czech so like Jakub, i think is how you like pronounce it he is a guy in space and how the movie begins we get into light spoilers it's just like I was like, his wife is being a, she's like, this man is in space, he's doing this for the world and for the country, because apparently there's like some pink clouds up, and there's a race to like, it's been there for the past four years, there's a race to get there to figure out what's going on, they want to get samples of this like pink, like cloud surface that's in space, so... Yakub is gone and he's doing this great mission for his country and everything and i'm like yo his wife is like she's trying to leave him she don't want to talk to him and i'm thinking man like she can't at least wait till the dude get back to divorce him like she sends him a message that she wants to divorce and the like government people the space people they don't even send him the message and like as the movie progresses you learn that Yakub actually was so and he was pushing her away and she reached her breaking point so i thought that was interesting how at first i was like on his side and as you like you find out more you realize that he's the problem and she's in the right and i thought yeah that was interesting to me i liked how as we learn that he was the one who pushes her away they do it through like kind of like flashbacks but not really flashbacks i don't even like it reminded me of eternal sunshine of the spotless mind with jim carrey if you're familiar with that and he would have these conversations with ya um not Yakub will have these conversations with the spider hanush and the spider is like an ancient creature he apparently had like psychedelic psychic type telepathic powers or something 
and yeah so it was through him being forced to go through all these memories in his head and relive these moments in his life and even moments that he hasn't seen but that were just described to him it's through this that he realizes Jakob realizes that he was the problem and like that was interesting that's when it comes down to whether we think the spider is real or not i personally i do not think the spider was real because this wasn't like a guardians of the galaxy or a star wars type movie where you like have a world where there are other planets and creatures and like spikes advanced technology and all that for the most part it was your standard just like our world just like a basic world it wasn't all that fantastical stuff so that's one of the reasons I don't believe the spider was real. So as we're going through the story, it comes to find out that the spider, Hanush, is actually dying. He has some kind of disease. And once we like get to the pink cloud and we get to the moment where they're actually in it, we see like Yakub goes through every memory and emotion and like everything he's ever lived since like the beginning of his life to like where he was then. It was like like a flash forward, flashback, flash just for everything flashing. And then Hanush dies. And I feel like when Hanush died, that was like the representation that the figment of imagination, his head was no longer needed and it was a new beginning. So that's another reason that I don't think that the spider was actually real. That trauma that he had with his father is the reason that he just had to have this success like over everything. Like that's why the success just meant so much to him. Whether the spider was real or not, the conversations that they had were really cool. I think um, the guy who voiced the spider did a very good job with the like ASMR, like just calm type voice. And like just seeing how he like built this bomb with this spider. I liked um how he was like the, the spider is like in our culture we cannot be touched. Like don't touch us, like it's disrespectful to touch us type shit. And they got into it where Jakob touched him and I thought he was gonna kill him and eat him. And he he got buck with him. He just let him like he asserted his dominance. He didn't hurt Jakob, but he asserted his dominance. So like Later on in the movie where they hug, like Yakub and Hanush hug, I like felt that I that shit hit my emotions, bro, cause he was just so adamant about not being touched and then like they brought it around and like they hugged or whatever. So like just uh seeing the bond between Yakub and this like spider, whether it was real or not, it was interesting to watch, at least for me. You know, I'm wearing my spaceman kit cutty shirt, you know what I'm saying, cut so Moon Kid, I like the whole like space theme. I like the whole loner being out in space by yourself and how you deal with that and the whole like message of you have to take accountability for your loneliness. You can't just just blame everyone else for being alone and you pushing everybody away and you're moving in a way that lacks accountability. The movie is a great portrayal of how you might be in isolation and you may be comfortable in that isolation you may not be comfortable in that isolation but if you don't want to be in that isolation and you feel lonely then maybe people are antisocial these days and social media has everyone tapped in online but not in real life and this and that factor may come into why you can't make friends or whatever but at the end of the day i think the movie was a good portrayal of how you have to take accountability for your own loneliness and if you don't want to be lonely anymore you have to make an effort and it is work to build relationships but you have to put in the work if you want to live like a fruitful life so yeah y'all that was just a few of my thoughts on the spaceman netflix original movie really enjoyed it i thought it was a good drama that adam sandler has put out amongst all the silly stuff he's put out on netflix this was a breath of fresh air to me so yeah spaceman that was my review that's it, y'all. I hope y'all have a good weekend. Stay tapped in. Stay tuned in. I'm going to try to put out some more content next week. I got a little, like, tied up this week, but still keep it pumping out. All right, y'all. That was Moon Camp Max's reviews and reactions. Peace and much love. Moon Kid out.
yeah. It's a lot of crime where I'm from. Try me and get touched. Be in LA, the hood by V8 in my blood. It's the Moon Wolf, nigga, come with booze and butt. Protecting the city, Los Angeles is my god thumb.